Well, howdy there, Americans. Um, I'll try to keep this brief. I do tend to just, I go off on tangents every now and again. Uh, I just heard comments from uh, uh, the jackass, uh, Mayor Bloomberg, and I do call him a jackass because, uh, well, let me just, let me explain why. Um, you know, he came out, you know, talking about guns again because he's an anti-gun, anti-Second Amendment type guy, but let me just give you this, this guy's thought process here for a minute. You tell me, maybe someone can uh, you know, shoot me a, uh, a message and explain how he comes up with these idiotic positions. He's pro-choice. Woman's right to choose. All right? It's a woman's right to choose. You know, she can abort her child, and that's her choice. And she's fully capable of that. But she's not capable or smart enough and shouldn't have the choice on whether or not she wants to have 17 ounces of Pepsi Cola that day. Okay? Does that make sense? This is this is a guy who's pro gay marriage. He's got no problem with uh, a man performing certain oral function on uh, functions on another man and then uh, ingesting uh, another man's emissions. You know, even with the spread of HIV and stuff, and you know, apparently that's fine with him. But damn it. They better not have 17 ounces of Dr. Pepper. Because, by God, that's not good for you. You know, bans salt, bans trans fats. He's just, you, apparently in New York, you guys are totally incapable, in New York City at least, are totally incapable of figuring out how to run your own lives. It, it's got to be because you keep voting for it. But anyway, so this is this, is this, this goofy little mental midget's outlook on things. I mean, I can't figure it out. Someone, if you want, help me, help, you know, help me, clue me in. But as far as his guns, he calls for a national police strike until citizens disarm. Really? Um, hey, Mr. Bloomberg, um, you do know we have a constitution? You do know there's a second amendment of the constitution? And that gives us the right to keep and bear arms, and it says it shall not be infringed, even though some murdering piece of crap out in Colorado did something really bad. But, you know what's interesting, is you look at all these, these liberals, um, you know, Piers Morgan and, 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 you know, well, Bloomberg, he's just so, he's left. I don't know what he calls himself nowadays, but he's, boo. Uh, you know, but you look people like that, and uh, you know, like I said, Pierce Morgan, uh, Ron Reagan, uh, Lawrence O'Donnell, you know, all these you know, MS LSD rejects are all running. Oh, we don't we don't have a problem with the second one. We just want common sense gun laws. Well, let's look at what happened. Okay, let's look at what happened. The again, the guy legally purchased a gun. He went through an FBI background check. If the FBI said he's okay to have the gun, what else do you want to do? I mean, you know, should we have an FBI agent follow the guy everywhere? There was nothing else to, to, to be done. But, you know, for Bloomberg, though, and this is what this really is about, for that, that jackass to come out here and call for that, and apparently he's trying to walk that statement back. But he's just trying to paint the NRA, who's just trying to defend the Second Amendment, trying to paint him as boogeymen. You know, I'm a member of the NRA. Um, you know, they stand up for the Second Amendment and people's right to keep and bear arms. Now look, I understand. If you don't want to own a gun, I don't want to force you. But because someone did just a, a gruesome act and abused that, that liberty that they had, you don't take other people's freedoms away. I mean, come on. If, if any of you people watching this are parents, if uh, one of your kids did something wrong, would you punish everybody else? You know, would you do that? You know, if one kid came home, you know, late from a friend's house, 
That's it. No one else can go to a friend's house. I'm grounding you all for the week. No more friend's house. That doesn't... No, here's a better example. Okay? It is... You can't argue the point. The Constitution, the Second Amendment, guarantees us the right to keep and bear arms. Okay? That is a right. That can't be rescinded. On the other hand, you have people who have privileges such as driving. Okay? Let's, let's take these two. Because what's interesting, more people are killed in automobile accidents, DUIs, things like that. But you never see the left calling for car control. Drivers like make it tougher to get driver's licenses. Why not? More people die from cars, and it's not even right. It's a privilege. You know, tell me where I'm wrong. Okay? You buy a gun, you go through a background check. You get a license, you go through the state. They say, yep, you're qualified to drive a car. Yep, you're the government says, yep, you're qualified to own a gun. Okay, now go be responsible. Well, this guy gets in his car, goes down to the bar, and uh, gets all liquored up, goes and slams into a, a, a van full of church kids going to camp. Kills them all. Kills 12 kids in a fiery crash. The liberals don't run over there going, By God, we need driver's license control. we got to crack down on this. You know, this is killing too many people. You don't see that. You know, no one's calling for um, if people to... Well, if, if you sell your car to someone... Yeah, i got a car for sale. $1,000. Hey, I'll buy that car. All right, but you got to fill out this background check. I got to run you through the government, make sure you're legal to buy this car and legal to operate it. So, why don't they call for that? Oh, yeah, what happens if you get a DUI? Okay, uh, that's it. They slap you on a wrist because we see people out of multiple DUIs. They take your license. What do they do? They still drive. Okay, people with guns. You know, when you snap, you snap. People do dumb things. But you can't legislate everything. Gun stickers on a building doesn't stop anybody. You know, it just tells the criminal that nobody in that store is armed. Nobody's going to stop you. Come on in and rob us. Have your way. Do whatever you want. You know? But why, why, why do you want to take people's freedoms away? I didn't do anything wrong. Why are you taking my freedom away? Why are you taking my ability, when I go in and see a movie, to defend myself if another a-hole walks through the door and shoots the place up? We all saw the news. 71-year-old man had a concealed carry. I think it was in Florida at an internet cafe. But two armed guys came in there. One with a gun, one with a bat. Okay? Getting all rowdy. What did the guy do? When they turned around, boom, pulled out his, uh, his concealed carry, shot them both. Now... He used kind of a small caliber, and he wounded him, but he, he stopped any further aggression by him. They took off running, later got arrested at the hospital, getting treated for their gunshot wounds. Concealed carry works. Okay? So, but because someone abused the freedom and liberty that they were given, you want to take my, my ability to defend myself and my kids? I got two daughters, 13 and 15. You know, if I went to a movie theater, don't. why should I not be able to take whatever precautions I can to defend myself and my children, and perhaps even those around me? Because let, let, me, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Most concealed carry owners, you know, well, first of all, 99.999% of us were law-abiding, okay? But I would say the vast majority of us we're willing to lay our our lives down in the defense of others, period. If that would have happened, if I was in that theater, I know it's easy to armchair quarterback. But first thing, my first instinct would have been what everyone else's instinct was. Protect your family. Protect your kids. You know, I'd have made sure my kids were safe. And then I'd have given that son of a bitch something to shoot at. 
It's something that's going to shoot back at him. I did, look, he had body armor on. I get it. You know, would it have killed him? No. Would it have would it have slowed him down? In, you know, momentarily incapacitated him? Absolutely. You know, but because that jackass did what he did, you want to take my ability away to defend my life and my loved one's lives. You know, I'm sorry, but uh, my life and my kids' lives are far more important than your sensibilities. You know, I don't care if guns make you uncomfortable. They're here. They are part of American heritage and culture. We have our freedom because of firearms. Period. You know, think about the American Revolution. You know, the carpenters and farmers and ranchers, and you know, they all had the exact same weaponry that George Washington and his trained military had, with the exception of probably, uh, you know, uh, uh, cannons. They had the same rifles. You know, but the people you should trust are the citizenry. Yes, people are going to do bad things. That's because people are humans. We see law enforcement officers snap. We've seen them where they just lose their mind and they go out and, and kill people. What's that guy, P Peterson? Drew Peterson? Once he killed uh, one or two of his wives or he convicted of one and is being tried for killing the other? He's a cop. There was a cop. It happens. Highly trained people do it. We've seen soldiers overseas, you know, commit some heinous acts. It happens. These are all trained people. It happens. In a free society, there are going to be those that abuse that freedom. And then when they do, you take that freedom from them. You don't take it freedom from those who have done nothing wrong. All you're doing is putting us at the mercy of the people who are going to commit the crime anyway. So, but you know, Bloomberg couldn't be more wrong. The guy is an idiot. He, he just reacts to things. Um, you know, when you look at the facts, New York City's got some of the toughest gun laws. Violent crime, I think, with guns was up 28%. Chicago, tough gun laws. It's a shooting gallery. Atlanta, East St. Louis, Houston, Compton. L.A., New Orleans. You know what's interesting? All those cities have these, quote, progressive, you know, which is a, just a neat word for liberal, which is another word for Democrat. They have tough gun laws, they have liberals running the place, and they have high murder rates. Explain it. States that have allowed concealed carry... I can't, you know, I can't think of one off the top of my head that has allowed concealed carry and gun crime went through the roof. Every place that allows concealed carry, crime goes down. Why? Because criminals know that other people are going to be armed. You know, I'll put it to you like this. Can anyone tell me of a gun store that has been robbed during open hours? How about a gun show? Has anyone walked in there and robbed somebody at the gun show? Why? I mean, here's all these guns, but, you know, it seems like there's never a gun incident at a gun show. I'm not saying it's never happened, but what's the odds? So, you know what? In honor of Mayor Bloomberg, for all you know, this could be Kool-Aid, mostly sugar. Oh, and that's a 20-ounce cup. Hmm. Yeah, it's good after, you know, 105 degree day. But uh, actually, that's just ice water with a little uh, black cherry Milo in it. So, um, but you know, if, if someone disagrees with me, let's have an honest debate. We don't need to name calling. You know, tell me where I'm wrong. Tell me why you disagree with me. Factually, you know, look, I, I, I'm not forcing you to have guns. You know, I, I would never do that. If you're uncomfortable, that's fine. That's why I've concealed carry. You know, I carry and nobody ever knows. In fact, I'm very cautious, you know, when I go shopping. You know, I'm very, you know, if I reach up on a shelf to get something down, you know, I want to make sure that my shirt doesn't come, you know, it, 
You know, because look, I understand people get nervous because it's, a, you know, now it's become unusual to see someone with a firearm. But, uh, you know, without a doubt, if someone came in that store and had a, a ill will in their heart and decided that they were going to uh, you know, take someone else's life, I, you know, I would do everything I could to stop that threat, and you know, I would put myself in harm's way. And I think most concealed gun owners would. But, you know, folks, look, think about what I said about, you know, the driver's licenses and the cars, because more people are killed in automobile accidents and DUIs than by guns. But you, And that's a privilege to, you know, drive a car. You don't see people calling for background checks on selling cars you know, at dealerships or in private individuals, you don't, you don't hear that stuff. The state can take your license, okay? But honestly, is that going to stop the physical act of driving a car? No. You don't punish law-abiding people for the acts of, you know, just murdering lawbreakers. So, again, let me have your, uh, let me have your comments. I'd love to hear them. You know. Always welcome a good debate, um, but uh, let's just keep a civil tone because it really gets old listening to these, you know, jackass, you know, MSNBC types that, oh yeah, well you sound like Rush Limbaugh. You're fat. Have you ever gotten out of that chair? Yeah. Matter of fact, it's just finally nice to get back in it here after working my butt off for twelve hours. And uh, getting out of that heat and coming inside, it's just kind of nice to sit down and and uh, just have a conversation. But those are just my thoughts. You know, love to hear the feedback. I appreciate you, appreciate you watching, and we'll catch you on the next one.